god, come on! <laughs> How do I slow it down? It's stuck! I watch Hello Okanagan from Lake Country. Check out our brand new selection of merch. We've got Hello Okanagan hoodies and sweatshirts available on our website now. What's up Hello Okanaganers? We're here with another episode. Episode 42 today at the Vernon Community Arts Center. And uh, winter has finally hit us. It is really chilly today. I'm just waiting for Peter to show up so we can head on in there and start the episode. What up? Peter, you look like Elizabeth today. Peter didn't tell you that I was filling in for him? No, Peter doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> Anyways guys, let's head in there and get started with this episode. All right, everybody, we are here with Sherry Kunsley from the Vernon Community Arts Center. And uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely, thanks for coming down. It's really nice to have you guys to come down and play with. So the Arts Center, we're an educational facility. Um, we teach classes for youth, adults, emerging artists, established artists, um, and we have classes in painting, drawing, glass, pottery, fiber art, textiles, you name it, we do it. So um, hopefully we'll get you engaged in a few of those things today. Um, I heard you mention that you guys are not for profit. So how has COVID affected you guys? Did you have to close down? Kind of what did that look like for you moving forward into, you know, the new style of teaching these days? COVID really brought out, you know, the creativity. In fact, our, our show that's on right now is entitled Creativity Out of Chaos. And that's what artists are about. So we had to shut our doors, which was devastating. It was a hundred percent profit loss. Um, had we and we were closed for a couple months, it was scary. We didn't know if we could actually afford to reopen. Class sizes have been cut. However, you know we've risen to the occasion. This place is often a haven for people. It's that safe place that they can go and create, express themselves. People come here on a drop-in basis, or used to come in on a drop-in basis before COVID, um, just to work on their art. And so not having us open really impacted people's mental health. Um, so we were doing challenges online so that they could participate, which was great. And now that we're reopened, even though class sizes are smaller, we just can't keep up with demand. It is, people have really, really embraced the, um, the art. So it's exciting to see. Let's get right into it. Okay. I'm definitely excited to learn how to paint. I, I honestly don't know how this one's gonna go because Personally, when it comes to art, like the other day I, I tried to draw a tree, I got so angry I had to sit down and like breathe and count to 10. So like, it's it, it's not my forte. So let's see so what we got okay. here. So I, even though I do mixed media work, I don't draw. So my drawings would still look like a stick man. So abstract is really forgiving. So what I've done with this, this, and to show how forgiving it is, there's actually another painting underneath this. Um, and I've just done what's called gesso. It's almost like a white paint over top. So this yeah. is really good news, Elizabeth, because when I ruin our painting, she can paint right over it, so it never existed. Okay, three colors. Three colors and three colors only. Okay, well, we have to use this one. It's so pretty. Ooh. I know, okay. I know. And if you want, you can just start with those two. Okay, awesome. Good choice. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour a little bit of each color onto this. Perfect, okay. So we're gonna do a technique called dry brushing first. So we're not gonna dip our paint in water, which you usually will quite often see. So I want you to pick a brush. First of all, I want you to wet the canvas. So just give it a bit of a spray. And so why would you do this? So this is going to um, add a little, it's gonna make the paint move. So it's gonna add a Yep, so that's perfect. That's good. See how it's already dripping, just even the chalk that we've got there? Yep. So that's something that you can't do just with a brush, okay. right? And I want you to just put it wherever you feel like you want to put it on that canvas. And just make some, just make, make some fun marks, nice big loose. Ooh. Um, okay, very pretty. Does it look <laughs> familiar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh. 
And because you've got some water on there, you can start moving wow. the paint that you already have. And you can just play in any direction. And this is the dry brushing? This is called dry brushing. It looks great over the... Over the... All right, Elizabeth, I think it's time for me to tap out. The color is so gorgeous. I just feel like... So the nice thing about mixed media is you're always like adding and erasing, adding and erasing. You can always take away. Oh yeah, look at that. There's some of that energy. Okay, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have to do some finger painting. Oh, I have an idea. Definitely the word I would use to describe it. Okay, grab some paint. I'm gonna spin the canvas. Okay, yeah, spin. Ooh, oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, we're switching directions. Oh, oh. It's upside down. Is it though? Is <laughs> it? So a good abstract, you can hang yeah. from four directions. We need a few more finishing touches here. I want like a little white hole in the middle. Oh, I'm dripping on the floor. That's okay. We're an art center, things get messy. Um, I think the last thing we need to do, Elizabeth, is uh, sign. Yeah. Hold it. There we go. It's an E and an F. If you want to win this work of art, <laughs> <laughs> make sure you stay tuned to see how you can win. Painting is obviously one of the things you guys do here. Let's head over to uh, to do some pottery or wheel throwing, as they call it, right? Absolutely. All right. Not to be confused with actually throwing wheels. Let's do this. <laughs> what the heck? Well, I guess it's time for my Okanagan update. Hey everyone, I'm Elizabeth Flowers, your Okanagan update correspondent. And in some news that I find super exciting, the Abbotsford Tulip Festival is going to rebloom in the North Okanagan. Known as Bloom, the festival opened up in 2016 and saw over 100,000 visitors in that six week time frame from April till May. The festival is set to take place this year in 2021. I don't know much about tulip growing, but let's hope that we have something exciting to look forward to and very colorful coming this April. The Penticton Arts Council is proud to present Artsy Aging with Alice a drop-in arts and crafts group for seniors. You are welcome to bring your own projects or start on something new. The Penticton Arts Council will have items available for you if you're in need. There is a $2 by donation cost associated with the arts and crafts group. And because there's COVID-19 restrictions in place, you do need to call to register your spot. The office number is 250-492-7997. Office hours are Wednesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. till 5 p.m. And you guys, the Vernon Winter Carnival kicks off next week. There is so much fun stuff planned, from a snow sculpture contest to a chili cook-off, a scavenger hunt, a virtual superhero party. There's so much happening. It runs until February 14th, so make sure you jump online to vernonwintercarnival.com for more information. That's all for this week's Okanagan Update, and now to find my way back to the episode. Okay, so we're here with Gail at the Clay Station. Gail, can you tell me a little bit about what it is that you do here and what we're gonna be doing moving forward with the, with the clay? Um, yes, I'm, my name's Gail Woodhouse. I'm the Executive Director of the Arts Council of the North Okanagan. The Arts Council of the North Okanagan is the governing body for the Arts Centre. I also teach here and I teach clay, I teach uh, uh, printmaking, uh, general arts, but essentially, my background and training is as a potter. Okay. A potter. A not potter. A, not a, a not a Harry Potter. <laughs> not a Harry. But with this accent, I could get away. With it. <laughs> you could. You could. <laughs> so um, earlier, I was 
asking if we're gonna do some pottery and I was corrected to wheel throwing. Yes. Talk to us, what is wheel throwing well, and why do they call it yeah. wheel throwing? Yeah, there are different aspects to, to uh, pottery. I mean, I've been doing this since I was 14, so, and I still get an enormous amount of joy and I'm learning, still learning new things. So you can throw pots on a wheel, which is this process. You can hand build with slabs and coils, like uh, flat tiles of clay or snakes of clay, um, and you can sculpt. So there's lots of aspects of clay. This particular one is throwing on a wheel. This is a nice dry wheel head. Uh, we don't want to turn this into a skating rink. Again, it's going to end up in your camera. Smack the clay in the center there. Elizabeth, did you flinch? Yeah, that scared me. I was like, not expecting that. It's how you wake up a class, right? Make sure they're listening. Smack that down. And then this is the part where you're going to, you're going to make sure that your, your hands and your wheel head are nice so you don't stick. Now you can see that this clay is not in the center of the wheel. Uh, and our first job is to get it in the center by, by, by uh, coning and doming, it's called. Okay, so pushing and you can, to make a, a dome. When I was first teaching, particularly 15 year old boys, they really get, oh, God. they really have some fun with this. And then you're going to dome. So pushing it down, using science, using centrifugal force to push that clay in the center. So I'm pushing that clay with a process of coning and doming. So it, it sits nicely in the center of that wheel. And again, using these little as a guide, the thumbs are going to wander into the middle and go downhill. Whoa. We're just going to make a bowl with this. There are different shapes that have different starting points, but with this one, we're just going to make a bowl. So pressing down into the center of the clay to make, first of all, a very thick bowl. And then the other one is everybody's got their different style. So I'm just going to use squeezing the clay together, squeezing evenly on the inside and the outside to form a bowl, ignoring that little wobble, pushing down. That's pretty steady and pretty, oh, I think it's magic. Wait. After all these years, I'm just, I'm just starting to realize that we're gonna have to do this soon. You're gonna have to do this soon. Wow! Oh, look at just, that lip going on there. It's just way too much fun. What are you making right now? This so looks this like is, a flower pot. This is gonna be a bowl form when I pull it out eventually. So, a mixing bowl, uh, uh, you know, a, if it was teenage boys, a cereal bowl. <laughs> let's, let's do this. <laughs> okay. First things first. I need my apron. I don't want to stain okay. my jeans. <laughs> So while they're filming the rest of the episodes, I'm just going to play around and do the finishing touches on this painting for them. A little off. Just don't play darts. <laughs> Did you break it? No. Okay. <laughs> it comes off. Okay. Come on, that was a good smack. Gail, I need help. That was a really good smack. Leave that sticky bit there, you'll be okay. okay. That's so what she said. Let's make sure that this is... <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go! Woo. Yay! Better? All right. Chickens, you're just gonna grab it. <laughs> you're gonna grab it. Grab it, David. Grab it, grab it and hold it. Grab it and hold it. <laughs> How do I slow it down? It's stuck. It's all right, you need to you press the back click a bit. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that is locked in acceleration. <laughs> Ooh, Does that feel good. better? Or is it moving underneath you? Uh, this is really hard. <laughs> That's what she said. Another, qu another <laughs> quote. You're gonna push in with this and down with that. Good job. Push in with that left hand. In, in, in and push down, in and push down, in and push down, you're doing it. So, well done, that's excellent. Good, yeah, thank well you. Well done, you're a natural. <laughs> so slow. I didn't need any help, it was awesome. <laughs> so now, very we've got time now because the wheel's going slower. You're gonna push your thumb down into the center and unless you want a flower pot, you're gonna stop about the height of my finger there. So Why do I have right, that little hole in the Right middle? into the center, because oh, you're doing either, okay. that's it. You got it. Oh, you can we got extra this. clay. Throw that away. Throw that away? Throw that away. Into I want hole. it, I want it back in. <laughs> <laughs> so just push down nice and steady, nice and even. You got it, kid. Tuck these fingers underneath. Put this hand in the center. Sorry to do the hand over hand. That's I have okay. permission here. You have permission, you have consent. <laughs> And then you're going to very gently shape that bowl up towards your nose. Look at that. Decorative features already. Nice and steady, nice and slow. It's very thin. The art of pottery is very thin. So stop the wheel. Let's see what you've got. What we have here is a very beautiful handcrafted altered bowl, altered form. 
which is very on for trend at the moment. You're very on vogue. I, I have been told that before, yeah. <laughs> I, I think Elizabeth needs a crack at this. I think I do too. <laughs> it's too much fun. I know, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it's not in the middle at all. Oh, yeah. Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. Cut that one. Yay! Way better. It's also not really in the middle, but. It's better. Okay. We'll so, oh my gosh! <laughs> so, the first thing you're gonna do is just let your hands sit. <laughs> just let them sit on the wheel. Okay. Okay. What's so fast? Just, just let it let, feel okay. the glue. Feel okay. the glue. You need your forearms on there. Okay. There you go. Now, yeah. now what you want to do I'm is you're going to kind of grab it oh. and hold it. Ah, it's going faster than I want it to. <laughs> take your foot off speed. when you're ready. It's it's the whole okay. We won't let you hurt yourself. Oh, I'm scared that it's going to hurt me. So okay. Take your hands off the wheel just so you don't hurt yourself now. <laughs> okay, so let it let it go round and I'll, okay. I'll get it nearer the Are you ready? Point. Yeah. I don't want to hurt you. No, don't. Fast, faster than that. As fast as you can. So what you want to do is just grab it quick. Let it go around. Keep. And if you can keep a constant speed, nice and steady, so that will help you. I'm uh, scared. You're brave. Art is about taking risks. Okay. Okay. And together. To pull it up. Oh, it's getting hot. <laughs> That's wet. That's friction. That's science. Okay. 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 Okay, now squeeze with your palm of your hand. Okay. Squeeze together, so you squeeze that even more than that. Squeeze, oh squeeze, my gosh! Squeeze, 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 squeeze it. You did it. You're doing it. You're doing it. It's so hard. Brilliant. Now let it go gently. Push that in with your left hand. In with your left hand. Come on, Potter, do it. You can do it. You can do it. Potter. You can do it. Good job, dude. Oh. Oh. I got my thumb stuck in it. it is I can you. see. Is it weird? Oh my god, I'm tired. Oh, Look at you guys, I'm making yes. art. Now, hang on. <laughs> so if we were to just take this off like this. Woo! Hang on, wait a minute. It's a fountain! You stop the wheel. So we've already made. So you're ahead of the A little jewelry holder. A little ring holder. Ring holder. Look at that. Oh, see? That. <laughs> see, you are so yeah, talented. Perfect. You are so let me, talented. Let me, let me uh, take good care of that one. <laughs> Pushing down like as hard as I can. It takes a bit of strength. You'll never need to go to the gym to do this. <laughs> Seriously, right? Yeah, push down a bit more. See this? Get your dry clay out of here. There's the cutest. Look how lovely that is. Look at you go, girl. That is beautiful. And Not as nice as mine, though, right? But, well, I have to say they each have their own personality, which is what we're after in the clay world. That's just the fancy way of saying it's a tie. Who won? <laughs> <laughs>another thing they do here at the vernon community art center is glass bead making and uh we're here with patricia thank you so much for joining us my and pleasure why don't you tell us a little bit about the the process how does it start it, it so what they're doing is they're taking rods of italian glass wrapping them around a stainless steel mandrel that's been dipped in clay heating it up shaping it and then putting it in a kiln overnight and the kiln slowly and carefully cools that glass bead so that there won't be a bunch of stress in that 
piece of glass. But you don't always have to make them with the hole in them. They don't always have to be beads. When you're flame working, you can do something like this, which is a paperweight. Wow. So how do you, this is so intricate, how do you get these pieces inside? Um, that particular methodology is tiny bits of glass broken up are called frit. You make a bunch of frit, you heat up the glass, you shock it in the cold water, and that's what the, the bottom of that looks like. There's a graphite cup, and that goes into the bottom of the cup. It so, when I was younger, I went to, I went to Venice. I, I had the fortune to go to Fe Venice with my family. How similar is what they do there? Like, we, we hear all about the, the Venice glass making there. How the similar glass is that what we're you using do? is actually from Venice, wow. from the Ephetra okay. Corporation, um, formerly Moretti. Yep. So, it all gets shipped over to North America, and then different retailers and wholesalers sell it to us. Amazing. So, but you guys are using kind of the same same uh, techniques and everything to make glass like they do there. Absolutely. Right? Amazing. Yeah. How tiny, tiny that leaf is. Yeah, they have to be. Do you, like, how do you even work with that? You got to use like special tools, tweezers? Yeah. yeah, we have special bead making torches that we're using. The students are using propane and I'm using propylene, which is hotter. So my demos can be faster because I want the students making beads. That's what this is about. And they get so mesmerized. It's so fun to watch. And I love sharing something I love with students who want to learn. Amazing. I'm lucky. Awesome. Thank you so much, Patricia. You're we really so welcome. Appreciate Thanks that. for coming and telling yeah. people about the art center. Let's have a look Thank at you. this bead making. So, like, it looks like when you let it dry, it actually turns into something completely different and magical. I, we are quite the talented artists. I, I must say so myself. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Hello Okanagan, and uh, thank you, Sherry, for showing us around the Vernon Community Arts Center. It was, a, it was an absolute blast. You're welcome. It was really fun to have you guys here, and I hope that you come back and take some classes and, and uh, see what else you can make in that pottery studio. And if anyone wants some more information, do you guys have a, a website they can go to? Absolutely. VernonArts.ca is our website, and we're also all over social media um, with Facebook and Instagram. You can also find us under the Arts Council of the North Okanagan and find out about a lot of other um, local artists that we have in the community as well, too. Well, thank you so much for having thank us here. Thank you. It was such a blast. That was great. All right, Okanaganers, that is a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode and stay tuned for next week where we will be in Sycamus snowmobiling. Very excited for that one. Uh, and make sure you guys please leave a like on our YouTube channel and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our new episodes. Where else can they find us, Elizabeth? You guys can find us on Castanet and on Shaw. And if you have a great idea or business that you want us to come and visit, be sure to shoot us an email at the email below.